This tutorial is going to walk you through completing an assignment within Teams on a laptop. One of the problems that we're encountering is that as more and more people join Teams across the country, it's affecting the ability for us to open up a document and edit it to turn it in. However, you still can complete the assignment and you can still turn it into your teacher. For example, if this is your assignment, we have the document Esperanza Rising Chapter 1. If I click on the document to open it, ideally, it should allow me to click and start writing. However, as you can see, even though the cursor shows up, it will not let me type. To problem solve this, I'm going to click the dots. Click C dots of three, click on me. So when I click on those three dots, I can download this file. When I've done downloading it, I can save this file. I'm going to open it into Word, and I'm going to save this file into my OneDrive. So before I start, I'm going to save as, make sure that my OneDrive is selected, and then I can save it in the folder of my choice. So for today, I'm just going to save it there. When you save it, you have to add your last name to the document. Teams will not let you upload a document using the same title of a document that's already there. So I'm going to put my last name at the beginning, give it a change, and then save it. Now, because I'm in Word, I can click down and I can start typing my answer at the bottom of the screen. When I've completed the whole assignment, I can click Save, and it will now be saving to my OneDrive. I can close this document, close this screen, and I should be looking at my original assignment within Teams. Below my work with the original document that did not work for me, there is a tab that says Add Work. If I click that, I can upload the document that I was just working on. If I saved it in OneDrive, I can simply click on OneDrive Go to the file to which I saved the document, find it, and attach my work. Now, because my work has been submitted, I can hit the turn in button. And my work is done. Now we are going to repeat the steps, the same steps that we just did. However, now we're going to complete them on an iPad. So if you are a laptop user, you do not need to watch this tutorial any further. If you are an iPad user, this is for you. So once again, we see our assignment on the screen. I'm going to open the document for my work. You'll see that I can view the document, however, will not let me edit. I need to click the square with the pencil in order to open it in the Microsoft Word app to be able to edit the document. When it opens, you'll notice that I can now type in the document my answer. Now we are going to repeat the steps that we did before. So I want to make sure that I hit my save button and I'm going to save a copy and ensure that my OneDrive is clicked and I'm going to save it to a folder that makes sense. So if I have an ELA folder for fifth grade because that's where the document is coming from, that's where I'm going to put it. 
And again, I'm going to put my first name. I'm sorry, my last name at the beginning of the document. And then I can save it. So now at the top, you'll see that the new name is there. I can continue working, adding answers, but when I'm all done, I can make sure that the autosave is on, make sure it is saved. If the autosave is not on, I will want to make sure I save a copy to my OneDrive and I can click the back button to Teams. I can X out this document and again I see the plus sign with add work under my work Esperanza Rising Chapter 1. So now if I go into my OneDrive, I will go to the folder that I saved it in. And again, I'm going to choose a folder that makes sense. I will choose the document and attach it. And once it's loaded and that blue bar goes all the way across, I can hit the turn in button in the upper right hand corner. Now I've been able to turn in my work to my teacher by saving my document to my OneDrive on my iPad.